How great, how great, how great, how great is our God. Sing how great, with me. And how great, how great, is how great is our God. How and great, how 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 great is our God. How great, how great. This is Rev. Michelle Mann. The reason I announced this commi committee, this House Select Committee on, to address the coronavirus crisis uh, is so that we can, in the here and now, address as we go forward with transparency and accountability. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi launching an oversight committee with subpoena power to oversee the Trump administration's response to COVID-19. Here's the reaction is House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. He joins us from Capitol Hill. Um, leader, uh, isn't that what Congress is supposed to do? Aren't they supposed to provide oversight to the administration? Yes, and we're already providing that. Think for one moment. You have the Oversight Committee, that that's all they focus upon. But in the last bill that we just passed, the CARES Act, we created three new oversight entities, right? We created the pandemic oversight that is a setup of inspector generals. Glenn Fine is running that. We created a special um, individual who will be appointed by the president, confirmed by the Senate. And then we actually created a congressional oversight that is appointed by all the leaders from Schumer to McConnell to Pelosi and myself. Um, this is redundant, but what's most telling here is who she appointed. She didn't go with the oversight committee chair, her own. She appointed Clyburn. And remember what Clyburn said, that her majority whip. He said this is a time to restructure into their vision, government. Um, this isn't about oversight. It sounds like pure politics. Really, we, this speaker should be focused on what we need to deliver to the American public. Let's take care of the crisis of, at hand right now. We have five different oversights already looking at this, and this is what she comes up with. We need to implement the trillions of dollars that we just said that we passed. Let's get it to small business. Let's get people continuing to work. Let's make sure we get that $140 billion out to the hospitals who actually need it, the, our modern-day soldiers in the medical community. Yeah. You know, uh, it sounds like there are a number of Democrats, including uh, Speaker Pelosi, who's already talking about phase four. We've just barely gotten phase three started right now. But when you listen to some of her um, some of her agenda items regarding phase four, it does sound like it's a lot of what the Democrats proposed in January. The only difference is now they've added some money for hospitals and community clinics. Right. Well, what she's proposing is the things that she was denied in the last bill, things that had nothing to do with coronavirus, uh, the Green New Deal, changing election law, bailing out states on pensions that have spent incorrectly, uh, providing more money to sanctuary cities, everything that doesn't deal with um, the coronavirus, Planned Parenthood. These are the things that why she held this bill up for more than four days. I mean, this would already be implemented today. We'd be talking about how we're getting the money out had she not held the bill up earlier. This is Rev. Michelle Mann. Thank you for watching. And God bless you. How great, how, how great, how great is our God. God. How great, Sing with me. And how, how great, how great, is how great is our God. God. How and great, how great, how great, how great.